Hello, this is the Cambridge English Starters Listening Test Three. Part one. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Here's a photo of my family, Miss Green. Is this man your grandpa? He's wearing red glasses. Yes, he is. His name's Tom. Tom. Yes, that's right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Oh, who's that? The boy in the water. His name's Nick. He's my brother. Nick likes boats. He's holding a boat in the photo. Yes, this is his favorite toy boat. Two, and who's the woman next to your grandpa? She's holding a glass. That's my mum. Her name's Anna. Anna is a beautiful name. Mum loves drinking juice. Really? Me too. Three, who's that girl? She's playing the guitar. That's me, my young sister. Can she sing? No, May can't sing. Four. Who's the woman in front of the door? That's my grandma. Her name's Grace. Is there a baby next to her? Yes, there is. The baby's sleeping. Five, and what's that girl's name? She's got a flower in her hair. That's Eva, my cousin. Eva likes flowers. Yes, and there's a flower on her skirt too. That's right. Now listen to part one again. One. Oh. Who's that? The boy in the water. His name's Nick. He's my brother. Nick likes boats. He's holding a boat in the photo. Yes, this is his favorite toy boat. Two. And who's the woman next to your grandpa? She's holding a glass. That's my mum. Her name's Anna. Anna is a beautiful name. Mum loves drinking juice. Really, me too. Three. Who's that girl? She's playing the guitar. That's me, my young sister. Can she sing? No, May can't sing. Four. Who's the woman in front of the door? That's my grandma. Her name's Grace. Is there a baby next to her? Yes, there is. The baby's sleeping. Five. And what's that girl's name? She's got a flower in her hair. That's Eva, my cousin. Eva likes flowers. Yes. And there's a flower on her skirt too. That's right. That is the end of part one. Part two. Look at the picture. Listen 
and write a name or a number. There are two examples. Hello, Sam. How old are you? I'm eleven. Pardon? How old? Eleven. And is this your friend? Yes, she is. Her name is May. Can you spell that? It's M A Y. Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or number. One. And where does May live? In a house in Plain Street. How do you spell that, Sam? P, L, A, N, E. Oh, I know that street. Two. Are these your toy trains? Yes, they are. I have six trains. How many? Six. Yes. Three. Look, these are my goats. What nice goats! How many have you got? We've got three goats. Three. That's good. Four. Is this your favourite goat? Yes. Her name is Smiles. Can you spell that? Yes. It's S M I L E S. Five. And how old is Smiles? She's five. Five. That's right. Now listen to part two again. One. And where does May live? In a house in Plain Street. How do you spell that, Sam? P, L, A, N, E. Oh, I know that street. Two. Are these your toy trains? Yes, they are. I have six trains. How many? Six. Yes. Three. Look, these are my goats. What nice goats! How many have you got? We've got three goats. Three? That's good. Four. Is this your favourite goat? Yes. Her name is Smiles. Can you spell that? Yes. It's S M I. L, E, S. Five. And how old is Smiles? She's five. Five. That's right. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. Now listen and look. There is one example. What is Jill's favorite toy? I can't find my favorite toy, Mum. What is it, Jill? Is it your doll? No, it isn't. Well, is it your bike? No, it's my helicopter. Oh, here it is. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What animal is in the garden?
Bill, there's an animal in the garden. Is it a lizard? No, it's not. Well, is it a duck? No, it's a frog. Two. Which is the baby's breakfast? Anna, I'm making breakfast for the baby. Is she having bread? No, she can't eat bread, and she can't eat grapes. She's having potatoes. Right. Three. Who is Pat phoning? Who are you phoning, Pat? Is it your sister? No, it's not. Well, is it your father? No, it's my grandmother. Four. What's in the box? Alex, is that a box of photos? No, I haven't got photos. Is it a box of flowers? No, there's fruit in the box. Five. Where is Nick's drawing? Have you seen my drawing? It isn't on my desk. Is it on your chair? No, it isn't. I see it. It's on the floor under the table. Now listen to part three again. One. What animal is in the garden? Bill, there's an animal in the garden. Is it a lizard? No, it's not. Well, is it a duck? No, it's a frog. Two. Which is the baby's breakfast? Anna, I'm making breakfast for the baby. Is she having bread? No, she can't eat bread, and she can't eat grapes. She's having potatoes. Right. Three. Who is Pat phoning? Who are you phoning, Pat? Is it your sister? No, it's not. Well, is it your father? No, it's my grandmother. Four. What's in the box? Alex, is that a box of photos? No, I haven't got photos. Is it a box of flowers? No, there's fruit in the box. Five. Where is Nick's drawing? Have you seen my drawing? It isn't on my desk. Is it on your chair? No, it isn't. I see it. It's on the floor under the table. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you see the clock under the bird? Yes, I can. Well, colour that clock green. Okay, the clock under the bird is green. Can you see the green clock under the bird? This is an example. Now you listen and colour. One. Now, find the clock on the tree. I see it. Colour the clock on the tree. Brown. Sorry, what colour? Colour it brown. Two. Look. 
Can you see the clock next to the dog? Yes, here it is. Please colour it yellow. Okay, the clock next to the dog is yellow. Three. Do you see the clock behind the crocodile? I see it. Can I colour that clock pink? Yes, you can. Colour the clock behind the crocodile pink. Okay, there it is. Four. Can you find the clock between the watermelons and the carrots? Yes, here it is. Please colour it grey. Grey? Okay. Five. Can I colour the clock next to the drawing? Next to the drawing? Colour it blue. Blue? Okay. What a great picture! Now listen to part four again. One. Now, find the clock on the tree. I see it. Colour the clock on the tree brown. Sorry, what colour? Colour it brown. Two. Look, can you see the clock next to the dog? Yes, here it is. Please colour it yellow. OK. The clock next to the dog is yellow. Three. Do you see the clock behind the crocodile? I see it. Can I colour that clock pink? Yes, you can. Colour the clock behind the crocodile pink. OK, there it is. Four. Can you find the clock between the watermelons and the carrots? Yes, here it is. Please colour it grey. Grey? OK. Five. Can I colour the clock next to the drawing? Next to the drawing? Colour it blue. Blue? OK. What a great picture! That is the end of the Starters Listening Test 3.